As you may or may not have heard, Super Vegeta seems to be the next Dokkan Fest for JP. Now, um, I'm going to take the blame for this. Um, I did assume, since I seriously did tweet out this gift right here, that Baby was going to be next. Because, um, you know, I seriously is never wrong. Um, but apparently, this time he was. He put out this tweet right here. If we translate it. It says, this is the first time that it happens to me. I will double check my, my sources next time and make sure this doesn't happen again. So, I seriously, no worries, man. Um, I, I do appreciate you. And again, this is also my fault because, again, I just did assume, um, you know, that what he said was true. So, hopefully, you guys can forgive me too. My bad about that. But Super Vegeta, like I said, uh, is going to be coming. Now, what, what troubles me about, about this, right? Again, I think Super Vegeta definitely deserves a Dokkan Fest. But what troubles me is that the Dokkan Fest right after Tenabata usually sets the, the precedence for what worldwide is, right? Two years ago, we had Piccolo. Piccolo dropped again in 2019, and uh, he's in the Android slash Cell Saga, and what ended up happening for worldwide was Cell and Gohan, right? And then next here, we had Gohan, which dropped 2020. He's obviously Majin Buu Saga related, and the worldwide ended up being uh, Vegito and uh, what's the case? Vegito and Buhan or Butanks, whatever the case is, right? So, Super Vegeta here, right? The thing is, he's Android slash Cell Saga. He doesn't fit with the movies theme or even the GT theme. So, I, I mean, if we take a look at Vegeta here, right? This is this is these are all the Super Vegetas in the game, okay? So, honestly, I mean, he, I think he's either going to be Tech because there's not a single Tech Super Vegeta. Or they're going to drop an STR one and just replace this guy, right? Um, in this video, I did create a, quite a few because we also have, you know, the Android slash Cell, Cell Saga category here. I did create my own, you know, version of, uh, you know, Super Vegeta here, uh, what I think they could do with him. I also gave easy A's to this guy and uh, these two trunks. So I'm going to hop into this right now. Hopefully you guys do enjoy, you know, this video or just, you know, enjoy the easy that I gave them. Let me know what you think about them really, really quick. And um, of course, let me know if you agree with what I said or disagree, anything like that again, because, you know, every single time new units do drop, I do like to, I do tend, uh, you know, to go into the Dokkan Wiki, change a few things around and show you guys what I personally would want um, from these units again, it's just it's just, it's just very interesting that Super Vegeta is coming, but you know it is what it is. So this is my idea for Super Vegeta. I just took his art, you know, for the the SR art right here. Uh, wait, where is he at? Uh, oh, I guess I can just go here. The SR art right here. But again, I do think he could be STR or even Tech. Um, what I gave, the, I feel like I gave this guy. I feel like he's good. So I gave him full power category, key plus four, one hundred and seventy percent to all stats. His secondary, I didn't add it, but his secondary leader skill. I mean, these are these are his his, his uh, categories, right? Pure Saiyans, full power, Vegeta's family, Super Saiyans, worthy rivals, Android slash Cell Saga, rapid growth, gifted warriors, and heavenly events, right? So I do think full power definitely needs a really good leader, and I think this Vegeta um, fits the bill perfectly. His secondary leader skill, I mean, it could be Super Saiyans, it could be rapid growth, it even could be heavenly events. Even though I don't really see it happening, but you you really never know, right? But I, again, I could see any of those categories being it. Let me know what you guys think. For a super attack effect, I did do greatly raise defense. So again, he, he does greatly stack defense. Cause immense damage to enemy and massively lowers attack, which in my opinion is a pretty uh, powerful super attack effect. The only reason why I, I gave him, you know, the ability to greatly raise defense is because the last two, the last two Dokkan Fests that drop after Tanabata did the same thing, right? Uh, oh, I, I guess this is the trunks here, but the uh the uh what's it let me go back here there we go so the gohan uh that dropped after tenabata stack defense so did piccolo so i just felt like doing the same thing here first passive skill i gave him 100 percent defense at the start of turn and then gave him two key and 150 percent attack when performing a super attack so this right here again this is going to make him very very strong obviously his stats need to be up to par with you know to, to make this good because if he only has like if he has 5,000 defense, this is going to mean absolutely nothing, right? But if he has 13,000 defense, he's going to be pretty tanky, especially since he's greatly raising his own defense, right? But uh, this right here, again, all, already he has his own key, 150% uh, attack on super. You guys already know how strong that is when it comes to units like Goten and Trunks. Um, high chance to perform a critical hit and all allies two key 
when facing only one enemy so i wanted for him to be a support unit but not really a direct support right like he he doesn't give a specific category you know through this amount of key and this amount of attack and defense but if you're facing one enemy he gains a high chance to crit which again is going to be very 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 powerful when you know mixed up with this right here on super attack but he does also give all allies two key which in turn he does give himself four key if he's facing one enemy because two key right there and two key right there reduces damage received by 30 percent and all allies attack plus 30 percent when facing two or more enemies so the reason why i gave him this little ability here is of course i want him to be good in extreme sbr and also just regular sbr um him really raising defense is good but he only starts off with 100 percent defense at the start of turn right so this is he's not going to be a defensive powerhouse at the start of turn even with you know a full again hit I mean, if his defense is 20,000, then 100% he will be, but you get the point, right? He's not going to have 20,000 defense. No unit has 20,000 defense. So um, it's going to be a thing where even with a 170 across the board leader skill and 100% defense, he's not going to be, his defense is not going to be high enough, especially in extreme SBR, um, to be tanking, you know, that great. So um, in difficult content, I wanted him to get a little bit of damage reduction, but also give all allies attack. So he's the unit that's going to be eating everything in terms of all the attacks. And then everyone else on the rotation, including him, is going to be hitting very, very hard. So he has 150% attack on super and an extra 30% attack for himself and all allies as well. And then he performs an additional super attack when facing an androids, artificial life forms, or power absorption category enemy once only. The reason why I say once only here is that Kale and Khalifa, right? The, the STR Kale, uh, she performs a super attack for every single specific category, you know, uh, enemy that's on, in her passive. I didn't want this video to do the same thing because I didn't want him to perform a super attack for every Android, artificial life form, and power absorption. That's three additional super attacks. I didn't want that. I just wanted once only because again he does really raise defense. But if he's facing and this is basically cell, right? Cell is both on Androids, artificial life forms, and power absorption. So if he's facing any of these enemies in any any stage, anything like that, he will greatly raise defense twice. So if you give him additionals, you could see three uh so you could see three greatly defensive raise great defensive raises basically so uh he i think he's very very powerful let me know what you guys think i mean again i, I doubt this is what he's asking what he's actually going to look like but i would not mind uh for vegeta to be i think he's i think this i don't know about a i don't know about a top because he again he stacks defense he's going to be untouchable after a few turns but he also hits very very hard so let me know what you guys think this is my idea for a super vegeta next i want to go cover this guy right here uh he needs an easy a this guy needs an easy a his leader skills garbage his super tech is actually not that bad he just needs a little bit of tweaking and his you know passive skill is garbage so this is what i gave him for a um for an easy a here so i gave him rapid growth category key three and 130 percent to all stats rapid growth can definitely use another leader skill there uh, for his super attack final flash, I gave him cause immense damage to enemy and raises attack and defense by 30% for nine turns. So um, he will have a quite a few turns of stacking and uh, he could get his attack and defense to look very, very, very good. Uh, passive skill, key plus three and attack and defense plus 70% at the start of turn. And then I gave him worthy rivals category allies, three key and attack and defense plus 30%. He also weakens regeneration, which really means nothing because it's only available. Like you can only do that in the cell the cell dough kind of event but i think giving worthy rivals three key and 35 percent to attack the defense is going to make a lot of those units look really really good and you can even run a unit like this with piccolo right because piccolo i do believe has like z fighters and stuff um which again like you you run this with physical piccolo and you say okay they don't really they don't really work the best together but they're sharing three key and 35 percent attack and defense and what z fighters which is again i think that they're only linked but I, the rotation could still work right keep that in mind um but again you obviously would not run this guy with piccolo but you get the point worthy rivals could also support um the uh the lr angel vegeta from majin Buu saga um right so again worthy rivals i could i could see them um gaining a support from this specific celebration right next uh we do have this super trunks right here um, I made um, this guy and this guy pretty, pretty good in my opinion. I want you guys to let me know which one of the two is your favorite. So, of course, his, his leader skill is garbage right now. His super tech effect is, again, it could be good, especially if he had actual stats here. And then his passive skill, again, is not really the weakest, but definitely needs some tweaking. So, this is what I gave him right here. So, all types, key three, and 90% to all stats. I think that's pretty good. His super tech effect, 
also greatly raises defense, causes immense damage to enemy, and raises attack for three turns. So this guy is going to be a really nice defensive option on Hybrid Saiyans again, right? Future Saga, full power, time travelers, Vegeta's family, which needs it. I think Vegeta family is criminally um, under underrepresented in this game. So Vegeta's family gets a nice defensive buff. Super Saiyans, actually, dude, Vegeta's family. After this celebration, right? Because you have the the easy egg, uh, not this easy, egg, but this guy on on Vegeta's family is gonna make this guy untouchable. And now this guy, interesting, right? Keep plus four and attack and defense plus eighty percent at the start of turn. Attack plus forty percent when performing a super attack, and then connected hope category allies three key and thirty percent to attack and defense. So again, at, my goal here is just to buff existing categories, give existing categories some. Um, nice utility and nice options right connected hope is a category that uh is not bad by any means but can definitely use uh you know help like you run this guy in the legendary goku event the gt legendary goku event and he's not taking damage because even though he's physical right i understand he's physical um he is giving all allies 30 percent attack and defense like he he's gonna help for the connected hope uh you know the connected hope category um you know mission in there because again the support ability is really really strong he has 80 percent defense he's going to be greatly stacking you can easily give him additionals and that's two greatly re defensive raises um he's going to be hitting fairly fairly hard as well like this guy's not weak whatsoever so let me know what you guys think about this guy and then of course we have the str super trunks which i made him a little opposite to the physical one but i think he's respectable in his own right so right now again his leader skill is trash super tech is trash Passive skill is trash. So this is what I gave for this man right here, okay? So we have all types, key four, and 70% to all stats. So if we're just going to compare really quick, this guy gives uh, one less key, but 20% more uh, to all stats. And this guy gives one more key, but 20% less to all stats. So that's basically how I kind of leverage that. Super attack, this guy greatly raises attack, not defense. Uh, cause immense damage to enemy and massively lowers defense, which in my opinion could be a very... Uh, strong ability. I mean, I think lowering attack is a little bit more important, but you know, you we don't really have everything we always want in the game. So, really raises attack right there. Um, is gonna make him hit very, very hard. He gets attack and defense plus 80% at the start of turn, just like what I gave this trunks. Um, but this guy gets four key and 40% defense when performing a super attack. So, um, this guy obviously he's very strong defensively because he does stack. But he gets more attack on super it's just literally the opposite here where he's getting key on super and 40 percent defense on super but he's also greatly raising his attack right i wanted to make him a little bit more powerful defensively so i gave him reduces damage received by 10 percent up to 40 percent with each attack received right so uh, again if you're in difficult content let's say you're in like the god event right in the god event after he performs a super attack i feel like he could take double digits honestly with like a a 170 leader right um, is this guy, he's on full power, right? Exactly. So this guy could easily, yeah, I gave him full power, uh, pa uh ability there, but on full power and a, on, a, on this guy's leader, well, on this guy's leader, right, where's he, dude? Okay. This guy's leader skill, uh, key four, 170% to all stats. Um, he's, he's going to get 170% defense, 80% defense there, 40% defense on super and 40% damage reduction for each attack he receives, obviously for the rest of the fight. And then he also gives full power category allies two key and 40% to attack and defense. So com again, compared to this trunks, uh, he's giving one less key, but 10% more attack and defense. So which trunks do you guys like the best? Do you agree with some of the easy A's, these fan made easy A's that I made for these units really, really quick. Um, let me know what you guys think. I do th again, it's very interesting that Android slash cell saga is being buffed again. Um, I don't know what they're where they're really going with this. Um, honestly, in terms of again, Android slash Cell Saga, I mean, what what's the worldwide celebration looking like, dude? Like, could we? Is it like an LR by guys Goku? Honestly, LR by guys Goku needs to really be a thing. I think LR by guys Goku could be like an uh, a very unique animation where uh, the enemy it's like a revival type of thing, or maybe like a second chance at life type of thing where you're about to get killed, but uh, Goku comes in the way and like you know teleports the enemy away, something like that. So. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new. Are you excited for Super Vegeta? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.